Hey guys, so it is a Sunday morning in the South. And if you're like many of us at our churches, what we do is we go to church and then we head straight to the Mexican restaurant. Mexican restaurants are huge down here. Well, as you'll see, if you start paying attention, you get to these Mexican restaurants and usually what you'll see is the artwork on the walls will be the pyramids. And sometimes there's the, like a warrior who's carrying a woman that looks like she's passed out and um, lots of headdresses and uh, pretty cool artwork. Well, usually whenever you see these things, first of all, the pyramids were built um, as worship to the sun and the moon gods. And that warrior carrying that passed out woman is, um, that's a human sacrifice. It's just done in a very artistic way. Um, but this was uh, part of the culture. That's mainly going to be Aztec and Maya. Well, I have some good news. As you know, um, I work with indigenous people um, in Spanish speaking countries to provide God's word in their language. I train them up as translators to translate God's word into their language with Wycliffe Associates. And one of the people groups we're working with are the Maya. And so I just thought it was a very fascinating thing to listen to these Mayan Christians uh, talk about the importance of having God's word in their language. And the idea that where they used to offer human hearts to false gods, they are now offering their own hearts to the one true God. If you would like to be part of this beautiful work of making sure that God's word is available, even in these indigenous languages, um, please join my team. Um, I would love to speak with you if you're interested. I would love to get you on my newsletter list. Um, if you'll put your um, email address down below. And I would really love to speak to you about financial partnership. All right, guys, um, thanks for listening and go enjoy you some Mexican food today. And just remember to pray for these people that are impacted in a really, really beautiful culture that needs to know about God. Bye-bye.